Hello, my name's Graham Petley and I'm the admissions tutor for the Cardiac Physiology programme. I'm now going to take a few moments to tell you a little bit about the programme itself. So the degree leads to a Bachelor of Science, that's a BSc in Cardiac Physiology, and you can find it on the UCAS, co uh, UCAS site under code B120. Now, following successful completion of the degree, you're entitled to register both with the Academy of Healthcare Science and the Registration Council for Clinical Physiologists. Now, registration with these two bodies is important because it demonstrates you've attained a certain level of competence and that will help you apply for a future job role within the NHS. So, what do you actually need to come on the course? Well, we take a variety of qualifications. Um, a level, for example, we take ABB, um, including one science, or if you've got an EPQ and you attain a grade A, um, then we would take BBB. We also take BTEC, um, both the new and old formats. Uh, we take access courses, foundation degrees, and a variety of others. Um, if you've got uh, any uh, a qualification that doesn't fit one of those descriptors, then please feel free either to contact me or to email the admissions team. One thing to look out for though is we will look for um, an element of science in the qualifications you've got. So for example, if you're taking um, A-levels, um, uh, an A-level in biology would be absolutely perfect because it's got a significant anatomy and physiology content, but we'd also accept um, chemistry, physics, uh, and for our purposes, maths. Now, what else should you think about when applying for the course? Because academic grades are part of what we look for, but what else do we actually look for? Now, the cardiac physiology course leads to you being able to qualify and apply for a job role as a cardiac physiologist. And the course focuses very much on the role of a cardiac physiologist and equipping you with the knowledge and skills to carry out that role. So it's really important you have a good understanding of what the role of a cardiac physiologist is um, because we want you to enjoy your time in Southampton uh, and ensure that you make the right choice, of course, from the beginning. So it is well worth um, finding out what the role of a cardiac physiologist actually is. Now, I'd recommend, um, subject to current lockdown constraints, um, perhaps later in the year there might be an opportunity to visit a department and talk to a cardiac physiologist firsthand. But unfortunately, with current constraints, that's probably going to be um, unlikely. So what I would suggest is you have a look at the resources that are online. Uh, NHS Careers, that's a website, they provide some very good resources and there are many others that you can find online. So make sure you have a good understanding of what a cardiac physiologist actually does because that's what we prepare you for in the course. Now again, difficult time um, and depending on age and circumstance, um, we would look for some kind of work experience relevant to cardiac physiology. Now that doesn't mean we're expecting some, someone necessarily have, to have worked in a healthcare setting, that would be great if you have, but um, being younger it's sometimes difficult to get experience on the wards. However, a cardiac physiologist works very closely with their patients and so transferable skills, uh, for example maybe you've worked in a shop and you're interacting with customers, those are the sorts of things that we would look for. So some sort of evidence um, that you kind of integrated with a range of ages in the general population and we're not too specific about what the format is. So it could be paid employment, it could be voluntary, um, it could be um, a number of different ways of achieving that endpoint. Um, now, we are also looking for people who are good communicators, and so we're interested in anything that you can tell us in your personal statement that might give you an insight as to the, to the type of person that you are and your suitability um, to work with a range of people. So what will you learn whilst at university? Um, well, the first year you'll spend looking at cardiovascular and respiratory physiology, 
Um, you'll look at uh, other body systems as well and will equip you with the skills you need to go into professional practice. During year two, you'll specialise on in cardiac physiology and you'll study non-invasive cardiac physiology. Um, you'll also study uh, public health, um, you'll look at instrumentation, you'll look at research methods uh, and, and you'll also um, go out on placement. The final year you'll uh, spend looking at invasive cardiac physiology and you'll also do a research project which you'll undertake as part of your placement. There's also a module on future professional practice to start to equip you with the knowledge and skills you're going to need as you progress forward in your career. In terms of where you'll be taught, Southampton's fortunate to have a number of, camp, uh, of camp campuses. Um, you'll spend a lot of your time on the main Highfield campus, this is the main university base, but you'll also spend about half of your time in the skills facility that's based in Southampton General Hospital. Uh, now, because those two are separated uh, by a little distance, you might be interested to know that there's a bus that links the two campuses and our students often like to travel together between Highfield campus and the university campus. And if you're in halls of residence, um, then the bus, you get a bus pass um, currently as part of um, the arrangement that, that exists. In terms of how we develop you for practice, I'll talk in a minute about uh, the experience you get in an NHS setting, but we like to prepare you for practice uh, in, a, in a safe learning environment called our clinical skills facility. This is based at Southampton General Hospital, and we've got examples in our clinical skills facility of the types of equipment you're likely to come across uh, once you actually practice as a cardiac physiologist. So on the left here, we can see um, a patient undergoing a uh, treadmill test um, whilst their ECG is being measured. And then on the right, we can see two of our former students uh, preparing to take an ECG.